exclusively dated Eastern Europeans, second date, third date, fourth date, fifth date, tenth date, you always pay! Hello, my name is Seth and I'm from Iran. Hey, my name is Paola and I am from Croatia. Hi, my name is Sabina, I am from Azerbaijan. Hi, my name is Aditi and I'm from India. Hey guys, I'm Marcus Starks, Marcus the Music on Instagram and I am representing the US. And do you think your country is gender equal? I think we're pretty much there, there's still some work to be done. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> A life of a woman is worth half the life of a man. If you're a man and you kill one woman, you don't get executed. You have to kill two women to get executed. If you're a woman, you kill one man, you get capital punishment. Is this actual law? Yes. Well, we'd like to present ourselves as equal, but we know who's cooking and who's going to work. The woman, she cook and she clean and she take care of the babies and I'm going to go play soccer and I drink coffee. It's pretty much like uh, Paula said, the only difference we drink tea instead of coffee. We are a work in progress. There has been a lot of progress like in terms of women being equal to men back in India. So I would say yes, we are gender equal in the current situation. Are we equal in the States? I mean, I think we're like leading it, are we? I still hear a lot about a big uh, gap in the pay. <clears throat> and I mean, they did just uh, outlaw abortion. So, okay, let's start with the most gender equal. I mean, if you guys would like. Well, since sure. abortion was outlawed, you should definitely. Okay, so you can say that. You can say that. It's very liberal in that aspect. There, there certainly are a lot of gender roles where there isn't so much equality. A female friend of mine asked me, am I safer to travel alone in Croatia or India? The answer is going to be Croatia. Good point. Is it Croatia or India? So for Croatia, raise your hands. Oh yeah, I think Croatia or Croatia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, India. Azerbaijan was the first country in the whole East world that gave to women the right to vote. That's an emotion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we have a lot of women driving cars, we have almost equal jobs. Households, still women does all the women jobs. Job. Yeah. yeah, everything, cooking, cleaning, kids. I'm speaking of my sister, let's say. She's a teacher, she's working, she has two kids, she's taking care of house, big house, and then she's taking care of everything, groceries, all stuff. I think it's a little bit not fair and her husband just working and comes home like that's it. I can take a step towards the left right now because I feel like um, I, I agree. women are working like you can see many women are young entrepreneurs, women building their own brands, working on it. A girl was basically, uh, she was getting raped on a bus. So I think that was the turning point where actually all the women in the major cities came together like we had a voice. If a crime happens against a woman, you know, she could be, you know, abused, assaulted, whatever. Does the blame go to her that, you know, she was asking for it because, you know, she was dressing openly? It doesn't matter even if you're naked on the street, no one can touch you, by law. But people, specifically old generation, they will judge you if you're like, it's like, why your family is not controlling you, why are you outside? By the way, old people in our countries are the surveillance system of the city. I have a quick question, is this a Muslim uh, Islamic country? It's not, it's very confused. Uh, it's an <laughs> Islamic country, we don't follow any Islamic rules, but we are a Muslim majority. Nobody actually practicing, because we used to be a part of USSR for over 70 years, and oh. USSR had no religion. So basically, USSR, no religion. No religion. Yeah. 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 Thank you guys. Yeah. So raise your hand if in your country the man is supposed to be the breadwinner. Yeah. I, I feel like you know, a man should still be a breadwinner in the US. I don't know, but now I know there's like a huge thing there. But I think this stigma still exists. That's such a hard thing to do, but definitely not as much as down there. But it's pretty shocking for me to hear certain stuff. We always think like the, the grass is greener on the other side. I realized that. Switzerland, in terms of gender equality, is a good place to be. Of course, it doesn't mean that we should stop there. There are a lot of things that 
can be improved, especially in terms of like salary equality. Actually, it's so funny that we have this uh, you know, video today. Today was a civil disobedience day for women to just walk on the streets without hijab. And there was like a hashtag on Twitter, hijab be hijab, like hijab best hijab, like we don't want hijab anymore. Some people did it, some people didn't do it, some people got arrested. It's like a symbol of uh, what the country is and has been for almost 40 years. It is very important to cook and clean. I mean like our national dish, if you've ever tried this gourmet mm -hmm. sabzi, it's unbelievable and not like an inside joke. She's not the one. <laughs> I mean, it has changed. Like right now, women work. But at the end of the day, it's men's priority job. You rarely see it. You know, I think that probably in Switzerland you see more often where the man takes care of the kids and the woman goes to work. Never happens before. But I find that, especially with Eastern European and Balkan women in general, they're the ones that are usually dominating the household and telling everybody what to do. But the men always have the mentality that she's going to do everything for me, I'm just going to go to work and bring it back home. A perfect example, my parents. My dad will go to the grocery store, but my mom has to call him to tell him to go to yeah. the grocery store. Same. He won't think about what needs to be bought. Yeah. The same way my dad will definitely go to the grocery store, but for what he wants. Okay, so in America, gender equality is like super, super advanced and pushing it. I don't know. I think maybe we might be able to switch with you guys. Switzerland. Switzerland. Who pays for the I think you should go like More down? <laughs> really? We have like so, we're like leading it in everywhere. Women can do whatever they want up there. They do whatever the hell they want. Don't you think so? Do they? Really? They do? Yes. Yes, it's frightening. Now let's say you go on a date for the Swiss guy. The bill comes in 200 francs. That's an expensive bill. And you know, he puts it in front of you. He's like, you want to split? What would be your reaction? First date. Oh, I would say yes, and I would want to split. Is I, that normal? It's, I think it's pretty normal. I think it's Alright, fine, you win. I'll stay here. Men are definitely paying for the bill. Yeah, <laughs> no it's question about it. Yeah. The first one, the man for sure. Like, obviously, he has to be the gentleman, be like, oh no. He knows that the girl can pay, but it's just that it's just a matter of, you know. Exactly. It's crazy because the second date you could pay, because almost in my life I've exclusively dated Eastern Europeans. Second date, third date, yeah. fourth date, fifth date, tenth date, you always pay! When it comes to me myself, I will, even if the guy pays for the date, I will still get something. I don't have that high expectation, but in Azerbaijan it's like for sure, it's men expected to pay. And it's really rude if he offers a woman to split the bill. I think equality sucks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So everyone should be treated like a human being, yes. But should we expect the same from men and women? And do you think that that's a positive thing? It's balance. And it's not both men and women are not built the same. Mm -hmm. There's some kind of work that the man technically is supposed to do that women mm -hmm. can't do. Like it's I mean, I'm 220 pounds. If, if my house is burning down, I want to be carried down by a strong man. <laughs>